Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today. The Japanese Meteorological Society has reported a magnitude 6.6 .6 earthquake at 11 o'clock there in Japan today, October 5th, 2023. They say there is a tsunami or advisory are currently in effect. The depth they said it occurred was at 10 kilometers. Often meteorological uh, geological groups will post 10 kilometers when they're not sure of how deep the earthquake was. We do have a 6.1, um, yeah, in this location. It, could, it very well could be. I don't know what time it is currently in Japan, but let me go back to the Japanese meteorological website. Let me bring this down. Okay, let me close that out. 10 kilometers is about 6.2 miles in depth. Yeah, um, let's go to the next earthquake that they will show here. And that was, let's see, a magnitude 2.4 at 1708. I don't know if I can make this smaller, bring it out. Yes, I can. And they say it was 20 kilometers in depth. All right. And I'll pull it out some more. Okay. Most of the earthquakes are happening down over here. Um, yeah. So going back to the USGS website, I'm going to bring this out. And this would be all earthquakes. And you can see that USGS is not reporting anything up in that location. Going to uh, Google Earth, here's the location that Japan is saying is the 6.6. Uh, .6. It very well could be uh, this one right here that USGS is saying uh, was a 6.1. USGS says uh, two people reportedly felt this earthquake. Um, there's only about a minute difference um, for the time that USGS reported it compared to um, the time that they are saying it occurred. Let me bring this over. Uh, there, in Japan. Japan says um, 11 a.m. And USGS said 159 universal time. And I tried to um, get the time for my area, which would be 8.59 p.m. yesterday. And then this one would be um, my time for Japan time, 9 p.m. So there's only a minute difference. We know that USGS just loves to downgrade earthquakes. Uh, let me pull this out and we'll go to this location. Okay, and we got... A total of 16 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. In the last week, there has been 38 earthquakes. Um, they've been bouncing around from this location uh, to this other location here, closer to the trench. I marked out the majority of them on um, Google Earth, and I'll show you this here. What we got going on is the uh, subduction of the Pacific Plate going down underneath the um, Philippine Sea Plate. And you can see this ridge of different volcanic islands through here. So it goes down, then it comes back up the magma um, because of the um, subduction. Going up a little bit farther to the north, uh, that is where they had the uh, um, large earthquake in 2011 that uh, created the tsunami and the Fukushima disaster. Now that one was a magnitude 9.0 earthquake. It was a, um, a super rupture of the fault line when that one occurred. 
when the fault line ripped, it um, moved at such um, a great speed, faster than um, sound. So I'm a little concerned about all these earthquakes. Um, it started out back on the 3rd um, as a magnitude 6 something. And then the earthquakes got smaller as they normally do. And then they started getting um, in the fives. And then, um, yeah, then this 6.1 or, yeah, um, it could have been a 6.6. .6. Japan says it was a 6.6. .6. Yeah, there's also been a 6.2 in this location. Let's see, I'll find the one for the third. There it is, uh, 6.2. And everything started settling down. We got fives and when, then we got fours. And then they started increasing again to fives. And now we got this 6.6 uh, um, .6 or 6.1, whichever it is. I don't believe anything that USGS says. As you know, any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And because there's been so many fives still... I'm sure those people there in Japan are still on alert uh, for something coming that could be much larger. Yeah, earthquakes are very common here, but you can see all the fives. Lots of fives. Let me bring this down. This is for the last week. Let me go down here to, let's see, the third. Okay right there okay it was a six they downgraded it to a 6.0 and then according to usgs they dropped to um a fours in that location and then they started going up again see that 5.8 5.3 5.2 5.5 they started increasing again and yeah a lot of fives and then let's go up here yeah to that 6.1 so more recently, we got 5.4, uh, two of those a 5.7, um, still a lot of fives. The most recent that USGS is reporting, still a 4.9, 4.8, and a 4.8. Yeah, I would be on alert. I would not be surprised if there's not another one that's larger uh, than this 6.6 .6 or a 6.1, whichever one you decide that. It probably is, but I'm going to go with what the Japanese meteorological um, group is saying, that it was a 6.6. .6. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.